What's up guys, this is the Rifeman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total of War Let's Play as the Italian States. So to round off what happened last time, uh, wherever I can find my mouse, there it is. Uh, the French derailed lots of our good efforts into attacking into the Mediterranean by attacking the west coast. How, so now it looks like this army under Gaiacomo Mosca may stay in this area to push these French armies back and we may end up recruiting another army to take these islands. And it also has been pointed out that we do have a good opportunity to take Croatia. But what concerns me there is that that's, we would be then surrounded by Ottoman troops. Uh, so in the event of them declaring war on us, because it would be them declaring on us, because I've got other priorities, this would be uh, quite a stranded and isolated outpost, whereas Venice is nice and easily defensible. So I think I'm going to let, let that lie for now. Um, we also have these worrying developments of the Ottomans pushing up ships full of armies to come and take us out. So it's not going to be too long before we end up declaring war on them again, once more. Um, but as it stands, we're not at war with them. And I am focusing on trying to knock out some of these uh, French and, French and uh, Italian, well, Central Mediterranean forces. So let's hit enter. Because I am still on my... Yeah. So the French... Ooh, okay. I might push up and tr try take the bridge. No, can't do that. Uh, nope. Do not intercept. <laughs> uh, so we are still growing our navy, which is becoming an ever-present priority. Yeah, here come the Ottomans. So they're probably going to land a bunch of armies on our territory. One in Naples, one in Greece. And you are going to land at Istanbul. And we're being attacked straight away. And we're going to... Hmm. Can we... Do, will we be able to defend against that? Probably. Maybe. I don't know. Let's find out. Worst case scenario, uh, do as much damage as we can and then pull the Bulgarian force back to take Istanbul. Right now I'm not overly concerned, we'll probably lose Naples because I can't get that army in northern Italy back quick enough because the French are blockading our port. We can spin the army around at Egypt. Yeah, it just reinforces the need to build a better navy than we have. Ooh, they have a breach. Okay, let's put a couple of units on the walls, just so they're not completely unprotected. can't deploy defences I may as well put you up on the wall if you're unable to deploy defences do you want one of you to deploy stakes I might do something like this in the event they knock down this section of the wall. So yeah, I do foresee a loss of this fort because it looks like the AI is not going to actually swarm the uh, breach like I would hope. Or maybe they will. Lots of their artillery is overshooting. The cavalry's going for it, and they're going for it. Oh. 
The real test will be if these men, do they throw grappling irons and then run? Because there's a big flanking movement here. Cavalry's starting to get in, but let's see what these... Before the cavalry arrive, let's watch these hillmen and see if the hillmen actually chase the... Uh, follow the way up the... Uh, Grappling irons. Come on, cavalry, just come in. Uh, these guys are trying to actually get a hand mortar block. them. Come on, cavalry. All you got to do is run into this thing. They'll kill all your men. <laughs> Seaman charge the hand mortar block. The bashies are on the flank. Get over here to hold the gate. Because this cavalry should be felled quite quickly. Some janissaries coming in. They might be problematic, but... Good, that might some of them will die on the tree as well. And my guys aren't even winning against the mortar the mortar troops. Although it's probably the artillery that's actually doing the damage against them. Good. Firelock arm citizenry taking positions on both sides of the wall. Or fire into the Semat Janissaries. It's a weird sound bug. Come on, man, get into position. Bashi bazooks and they are scary. More cavalry coming in. <laughs> uh. Actually, run these men across the walls. You go keep attacking the Bashi Bazooks. Yeah, they can do good damage to those Janissaries. go support the attack on the walls over here. And they're losing against the Bashi Bazooks. We have to let this art this unit try and break the hand waters themselves. Everyone else is already engaged. Cavalry. We 
goes dropping to square. That will help eliminate the Delhi Horsemen and allow the 41st Regiment to charge up and help. These men can win. Oh, damn it, the infantry guards are showing up. No, you've got to just charge in, take them out. So you hit the cavalry. Come on, do the ching. Don't know why it won't let me attack the deadly horsemen, but whatever. Climb the wall. Damn, these armed citizens are going to be screwed. More men on the walls. But the idea is to do. It isn't necessary to win, it's to do as much damage as possible. to the enemy garrison so that when we launch our counter-strike that we can take them out. These are infantry guards so they aren't good or well, they're better than average at least. Yeah I think those Delhi Cavalry are going to do pretty well against us. This unit down to one man. What an incredible experience. Oh, just a sec, guys, I'm gonna sneeze. And I'm back. Yeah, we're going down. We're going down. Really, I should have been. I should have had a good enough army to take advantage of the. Uh, to take advantage of the fact that they've got all their armies aboard ships, and I did not. See, I can't. Whoa, hold on. Stop! 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 stop. Funky siege games at play. Probably this unit. Look at it. For whatever reason, it's decided to split up in all these directions. And I can't actually attack the Delhi Horsemen because they're they are bugged as having destroyed this building. I think Istanbul, I think the uh, Ottomans are going to attack them. Don't just sit there. Just try to kill as many as you can. These units have been killed. Pouring fire into this already. Just speeding up because right now there's mayors. We may as well. Fire like arms citizens are standing their ground. Italians here are doing as much killing as they can, although it looks like they do have the better of me in melee combat. I should have had a more substantial garrison here 
suppose I got carried away with my economic spending. But this is entirely reversible because I do have that army currently to the north. It's not really doing anything. So currently I've got my two Moranian units are just fighting it out. Fight it out against the Bashis, I suppose. There they go. <laughs> Valiant defeat. Probably got a good number of kills. Uh, we did manage to make them pay for it more than, more than ours. More than my men. More than my men's lives. So they're gathering. They are gathering their strength. So the army from Bulgaria is going to come back and lay siege to Istanbul. Man, they're actually doing... The AI's actually done quite a concerted little effort here. Oof. Okay. The Italian Navy may need to sally once more. And it looks like, again, I need to focus on the Ottomans rather than the the French. Damn, I've got lots of requirements for spending here. I've got an army and a garrison defending against the French. They should be fine. I probably want to beef up Venice's garrison a bit more. And then I probably want to just recruit more troops. That's the name of the game. And more ships. And I'll probably want to take Ankara this time as well. Well, pretty much, because the Ottomans have we made peace. They broke the peace. So now they are going to die. So if Bulgaria is worth a good amount, but Istanbul is worth more. Put them under siege. You've got a full army with a bunch of big, of a big mismatch, mismatch of cavalry, so I can come back and attack you. That's not a problem. We are losing trade from this French stack, which is the previous stack we lost against. We're building a dry dock to get a second rate ships. Income next to 900. So yeah, I can't slip my army on board a navy and ship them down here really quickly because these guys are down here. Okay, first of all, you guys run down here. So next time we'll lose Naples, but then we'll lay siege to it once more. Your army's pretty knackered. This army I'm probably going to want to just hunker down and defend because I've got all this junk coming and I can't really afford to lose my navy. So what have I got? Seven fourth rates and a fifth rate. I mean, lots of their ships are pretty knackered as it is. I think I'm going to risk waiting, waiting one more turn to get, well, oh, maybe maybe two turns. But I'm not going to actually wait a turn. I'm going to take this army. I'm going to attack Hizya Nadim. Let's go take out one of the heads of the snake. I mean, I know snakes only have one head, but for dramatic purposes, I'm assuming <laughs> that these multiple armies count as multiple heads. goes to show for all my economic spending I still am dependent on those uh, those trade loot those trade routes so building up a navy is pretty much my main priority don't do this mouse there we go Mow them down in an efficient manner. Let's use our cavalry advantage to chase them down. Pike 
just take up a position. So they do have artillery. Not much of it, so we are going to focus it. Let's try hit it while they're unlimbering because they're a bigger target. And if you hit it the limber, I think they all still die. Yeah, quite a spectacular sort of misses there from my artillery. Cavalry suiciding my guns. If you're not back, let's switch to round shot to keep pummeling the cavalry, particularly their camera guns. Mamelu guards, but then again, from memory, they are still light cavalry, so they aren't massively brilliant. Ah, fusiliers. Beating that unit, regular unit of Mamelukes. Canister shot into the, into the foot infantry that's now pushing up. Back you go. This infantry is going to have a torrid tone. Got his infantry with bayonets to support. Support my fusiliers because they're a bit pants. I'm going to lose a load of my pike home because they're running in front of the line. I'm going to try and make a push, so let's hope we can get another good set of volleys off before they make it to our line. Cairo Janissaries. Okay, let's run my bayonet trees back. Just my regiment of forces where you're going. Push one square back. Bunch of dead camels immediately on the inside. Let's push my left flank up because we now have the advantage here. square back in line. Let's 
get these expat infantry in to support the combat. And my cavalry is currently struggling in to form a new battle line. The guns can now forgive. Continue to, you can continue to shoot those grenadiers. These guys can start to blink Sendendari horsemen, let's bring my regiment of horse to the rear to knock out some of their supporting elements. Go get them, pikemen. Let's go, take them out. Engage the Midari Horsemen, we have the Canist Sharks. Actually no, go for the Desert Warriors. There you go, my Pike Money going not go through these guys. down there with retreating troops. I might lose a couple of horsemen here from bow fire. It's worth it to potentially knock out their, their artillery. Got it. Okay, so let's get you guys on the on the charge. Seem my general really. Let's get him out here. You go after my camel gun, you go after their camel gunners. Cavalry, you get out of there. You get out of there. You hit the Cairo Janissaries, you go these Janissary Musketeers. You hit the Desert Warriors. You hit the Hand Waters. Chase down those camels. Charge my pipe and on, I guess. I mean, in archers, so you guys start to relocate your fire. Janissary Musketeer unit. And you go on into those Janissaries. Good stuff. Bring my pikes back. Let's go after the first African infantry guards. Let's pivot some troops to support. Because we know how archers can be. Go after this Cairo Janissary, there's only one of them left. I'll go after them, let's get back over to the general. Take out this altar and then go on to that Janissary Infantry Guard. A couple of units of five by rank should be able to see these Armenian archers off. I'll just say they are winning. Oops, 
the cutting this fuselier unit apart. So you mow down these janissaries, then go after the general's bodyguard. Just gonna smash these arches, I suppose. Let's run these cavalry back. Aha! You have decided to turn around. Take out the general. Got to kill their general? No. Chase down their archers then. Absolutely. Continue. Whole artillery fire. You go after the light infantry. Chase them down. Same with you. They're probably not going to make it. No. Let's come back and try and knock out the light infantry. Good. And all of you guys come over here. To knock out this last unit of infantry that's scattered all over the place by the looks of it. No, oh, no, just here. Just these two guys. <laughs> you swines. Come on. Come at them. There's only two of them. I really don't get why they're not. There. They're not moving, they're not attacking, they're just running to where they were. That's really dumb. Damn, they got gutted. Okay, so let's do some merging replenishment. Because we we're also suffering from money problems. So we can't afford to be too snobbish. Fortunately, they're probably going to still attack the city, so actually it might probably be better off if I do that. Probably move my pipes across. So we can deal with that. We can't deal with Istanbul yet. But we will. We can't stop these guys. I would like those extra fourth rates before I attack them. Um, but on my hand... There you go, we'll get 2,000 next turn. Okay, so we're not broke. Let's check my research and tech. So you instead probably want to go for... Hmm. Lime juice and sauerkraut's probably pretty good. Reduce upkeep and then go for copper bottoms. Trade agreement lost with the Ottomans. That's all our ports being blockaded. Let's try and open up new trade. And we can't, sadly. What about peace and trade with the... Nope, not giving away any territory to Poland. I mean... Yes. Let us have peace. I offered them peace and they went, no, 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 no. Let's have peace. <laughs> okay then. Yeah, the Royal Navy's got lots of chaff, but no major warships. Okay. Let's get rid of the pain. That's a... Oh, God damn it. It's 
I mean, is France going to immediately declare on us? They better not go try to take Turkey or Istanbul. Well, no, if they did, it wouldn't be the end of the world. What I could really do with is a strong, a strong Sweden, strong Protestant presence in the continent to draw their fire. Oh yeah. <laughs> um, I'm going to auto that because I'm going to assume that the mortars will do more damage auto resolving than during the actual attack. Yeah, <laughs> they lost. Oh uh, no, only 400 men. Ritirata! Ritirata! So they're going to kick my... Oh, I should have... I'm so dumb. I should have just uh, cancelled building those warships. Because now, obviously, we lose, we lose Naples, we lose the, the ability to build those ships. I didn't put it together. I'm only human. And at least now with peace with France, it means they're poor. Their navy isn't blockading ours. So we do get trade this turn. You are a concern. I may fall back. The army that's near Istanbul, I may fall them back towards me in order to allow me to regroup them later with the army near Greece. That would be a good idea, I think. I think it might be wise to build up some of my northern Italian towns just in general to have walls and to be a bit more fortified. Because I could fortify Turin, but there's nothing to stop them going around Turin. Unless it had an army in there that was pretty much, a garrison in there that was pretty much an army who could then sally out, take the other city, then come back. But it still feels like it's leaving too much up to chance. Don't worry. Now, now the Ottomans declared on me, I'm going to tear them out. They are going to be annihilated. Okay, Naples is unhappy. Oh, next turn we'll get the siege. So we've got our ports are open again. Okay, let's go. Okay, so rough, Mr. Genovese. That's probably yeah, that's probably not a Italia, pronti, in marcia. Reinforce. Let's pick up four units from here. So they are, they're going to push into Bulgaria. That's okay. Probably want you guys to fall back. And also recruit. I would like howitzers, but can I get them in Greece? No. So it's probably trying to recruit them from Bulgaria. It is. Let's upgrade this, and let's probably get... Don't want mortars. Probably, I'll probably be better off to manually recruit them down here. See? Do you have any heavy cavalry? No. So it's probably best that I also start to upgrade my cavalry. That's General's bodyguard. Heavy cavalry. Good stuff. So let's just leave. Let's just make this guy an admiral. Giacapo Testore. Um, let's, go in, let's go raid their port. Let's go raid their shipyard or the naval hospital. Go on a raid across the shoreline. Fleet destroyed. Yep. Yeah. Region lost Naples temporarily. Raiding all over the shop. That's to be expected. Got some building works done. Enemy raid in Toronto. But soon that will be ours again. Trade agreement with Britain is lost. Isn't surprising. To be honest, this is a pretty good garrison. 
gnomes. Who's France at war with? Sweden, Mughals, Britain, 13 colonies, pirates. So I don't know who they're sailing this army up here to, to attack. But we will trade with you, France. Damn, we're on 1,200 income since we lost Naples. Yes, France, relocate your troops from our borders. I mean, does it look like they're going to immediately declare war on me again? Because it looks like they're sailing up to Bulgaria. Because <laughs> this is the thing. is it, If they do attack Bulgaria, the AI makes no sense. I offer them peace. They counter-offer me the exact same peace deal. Now we're trading, and then they'll decide to declare war on me again because... Because I'm the human player, I guess. Uh, water is over. Okay, we really need to break the back of the Ottomans here. I thought I'd already done so, and I thought I was able to establish more of a defence. But sadly not. So it looks like they're also going to send raiding forces down. Wait a minute, did I say second rate? Ooh, that's a, see, that is a fleet to uh, to uh, attack right there. Because they've got a second rate and a handful of junk. Opportunity to intercept, yes. <laughs> Please come out and attack me, Garrison, before I have a chance to kill you. Beautiful. <laughs> Too bad about the funky deployment in the city. These always, always really bad at these. Let's take three of you instead. Okay, actually. So we can stretch those guys out so later on. Actually, let's deploy them here. There this area now has gun support. You're my left brigade. Put some grenadiers inside this house. I know the two. I can't get them all in. Sadly. But still, let's put some grenadiers in here. Where the AI is likely to want to try and force men. To the cavalry, I want to probably put you on the right. Deploy some mine infantry guards here. Oh, that's in my infantry. Okay, line infantry guards plus. My remaining infantry. Get ready to move out on the right flank. And my other gunners will already be in position. Just. There we go. Kevin Howitzers. One go behind the line over here. One go in the centre. Maybe a bit further out. There we go. Then one on the right. Good stuff. Fusilier is also. Actually, you might deploy on this flank. Okay, I think that's everyone. Yeah! Why are they behind us? That makes no damn sense. Oh, 
charge my cavalry in to intercept. Because I want most of my stuff to limber up. for cavalry relocate back to up here how oh, it's a redeploy how oh, it's a redeploy that's oh, full artillery you go here Massive redeployment exercise. It's mean you guys can't make up your mind about what, what position you want to be in. You guys should really have been running. back. Can't really help you out, just make sure you don't. Deploying square. Yeah, you can probably get involved in that combat. Keep these guys advancing with their flank against the the impassable terrain here. Fusiliers against the Camel Nomads, you guys are limber, get ready to start blasting everything with canister shot. Let's probably re uh, reorientate this line. Especially as Armenian archers. Let's aggressively push my line up. Horsemen coming in from the rear. Carcass shots. Against as many damn targets as you can. You're not in a terrible fighting position back there. Mamelukes, Mamelukes. Up. 
destroying our lines, and our lines are now back. Whew, that was a bit funky. No, they just they, they charged in and dismounted and did something. Let's get my artillery up on this hill. Throw our cavalry into the mix. Let's pick new artillery targets. into the Royal Cairo Infantry Guards. The brave Italian cavalryman. Could do with heavy cavalry, really. Well, if the cavalry doesn't want to fight me, then I'll avoid it. down. Now oh, they're already, this is a, they can route from, just from this edge, so that's probably not going to happen. So our cavalry is routing. smash into those Azars. Well, the cavalry routed, which is fair enough. To be honest, it was a bit of a dumb decision sending them in. take them on. This is on our home turf as well. We can afford to take casualties. The Ottomans, on the other hand, they're gonna get reamed. Very deaf. Okay. I mean, he was definitely shot by a bullet. He was like shot by a bullet that missed my troops. Cavalry's knocked out once more. I can't remember what two guys reloading at the edge of the line. Oh no, they routed. Is, is, is attacking the Cairo guards alone. Well, these Kurdish hillmen are knocked out. Which they should be soon from our fire. When these gunners eventually make it up to the top of this hill. to advance 
Let's go this way. Everyone else needs to do something like that. Knock out those Kurd those damn Kurdish helmets. But it's because there's a. It's not a kid. They're in a bit of a divot. Good, finally. Finally, you, my good fellow. Let's hold all my artillery just to make sure there's nothing silly going on. Yes, you think you've done very well. Until these men have reloaded. These gunners have decided to... Uh... Oh, that's some stuff. Great. Yeah, they're being fired upon from every possible angle. <laughs> nice. Yeah, let's end it there. That was very, very messy. That wasn't a good battle at all. I mean, it was still a win, but I would rather have... I mean, I could do it again, but I don't want to... <laughs> Let them get back into the city, and then we can siege them as normal. Mm -mm. Expanding their hold... Although expanding their armies in northern northern Italy would probably like to fortify this pass. Just to act as a bit of a buffer. But I really need my armies to do some work against the Ottoman Empire. Maybe even land a force down in Cairo. But then again, I think what I might actually do is use my navy to just keep growing my navy to help to keep hold the Ottomans at bay. I want to bring my navy back from the Eastern Mediterranean back to Italy because there's a second ray there I can try and steal. You know, because it's a powerful ship but in a small fleet. So even though it will wreck my ships gun for gun, I've got many more guns and I can just surround their ship and try and capture it for the glory of the Italian Empire. Empire. The Roman Empire. The new Roman Empire. That's the one. Yeah, I think I need to make I need to seriously make some more investments in my economy. So I need to pick my research wisely. And I would also like Quicklime. Quicklime would be incredibly useful. Because the Ottomans look like they are, they mean business, and they're pushing up with as much strength as they can muster. And we can't allow that to happen. So we're going to be doing a lot of building in Greece very soon I think we're not just building recruiting everything I'm destroyed in Bulgaria but that's okay let's move you back here because I think they want to try and open up this port for trade we are bankrupt so I want to take can get here in one turn. Let's go take him out. Two thirds and a second. I think we've got a shot. Yay, and we get our galley. Well, we've got to try and make it work. But, looking at the timer, it's time to end the part. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for, um, hopefully, the capture of some Ottoman ships. Cheers, everyone.